So it's been a very, very long day, long last two days. I finished my battery at 12S4P using Tesla 21700 Samsung 40T batteries. Um, I finally built it, it's pretty huge. Now the best part, we're going to go ahead and apply a clear, a clear shrink wrap. To shrink wrap, you want to get a little bit over there, little bit over here. Cut the shrink wrap, and this is the most satisfying time when you build your own batteries. And when you shrink wrap it, and this will keep everything from moving around too much. And I like to make my packs, at least currently, into an actual battery pack because later on your battery pack breaks you can separate out if you built it into the board the problem is later you have a problem you have a problem but with this you can go ahead and just simply swap out batteries so two heat sink wrap one hole tug on the end here and we're just going to go ahead and walk slowly and let it shrink there until it shrinks this door here also just like the hearts just like the nine implies just put your heat gun on low and we're going to shrink crop it all just the middle part maybe hold this part here like this and we're going to flip it and shrink crop the other side don't worry, it looks ugly. I hold one side here and let it shrink a little bit. And on the sides here also. You're going to hold down the sides here and shrink wrap that too. Then shrink up here also, make it smoother. And also over here, like these. And like this, and you're going to flip it over again, and you're going to do the same thing. Sort of hold it here, to make it a little bit smoother, and so you can have it shrink wrap over the sides here. Don't have it long too long, you might undo your sorting work there, and you can go ahead and uh, all these creases, work those in, it's, that's what the shrink wrap does. If you see a cre crease, work those in there, just like that. Now that might be too much heat, make sure to fold it. Woo! Fold it again. And we're going to get rid, rid of the creases here. Get all the creases, and that's what shrink wrap is. Get all the sides again, and let it get tighter and tighter. And that looks very good and smooth there, and that looks pretty smooth here. But do one more roll here. Push that down. Push that down. Push that down, push that down, get rid of any creases. Don't hold it too long, as if you might burn the shrink wrap. That looks very good. That looks very good. Um, I would actually do a second wrap, uh, just for insulation and safety purposes. Always do a safe second wrap. So we're gonna do a slightly more of the same and we're going to shrink wrap one more time and we're going to pull it today look at that awesome 12 s 4p Ooh, put it right in the middle there and again you're going to hold one side and start shrink wrapping and folks this is the most 
awesome feeling you can have shrink wrapping your own batteries at the end of it you'll feel the joy you can flip it if you don't want to walk on one side too long then uh, it might get too hot it's not good for the batteries or walk on the side here in the middle and boom shock all over baby look at that shit you know how professional that's going to keep looking I flip it over so you don't overheat. We'll go on the walk on the creases here. Hold the sides there, get rid of the creases. Actually shrinks. You want to get rid of all these creases. Expand it as much as possible. Get rid of any creases. And boom chocolate, that looks really good on the top here a little bit. Flip it over. When pull that down, whoo hot. Pull that down, whoo hot. Pull that down, whoo hot. Get rid of these bubbles. Make it all smooth. Pull it down. All right, flip it over one more time. Then that looks really actually pretty good. Just make sure everything is pulled down. Oh, ha! Oh, oh, ha! Oh, ha! Push it down. Oh, ha! There's one more round there. All right. And boom shakalaka baby. And we come oh I actually burned through the first route there. But that's fine, we have a completely insulated battery here. So we have lot voltage charger here. And ready to go. Should still be at near 42 volts. Uh sorry, 50.4 volts. Probably at 48 volts. Boom chocolate. Oops. We got 37.6 volts. That should be perfect. We'll have to cycle it a few times, but after that, this battery will run at 450.4 volts. Now, if I try to charge it, It won't charge anymore because I need a balance charge. I need to basically discharge it a few times. But check it out. Dr. E has built his first 12S 2P. Uh, oh, sorry, 12S 4P battery that fits in a battery box of this such size. This is the battery box, sorry, battery pack. Uh, I've designed for this battery pack so it fits and I can have a full space for a vest on top. Uh, torque boards, case is not bad. Actually, kind of like the torque boards. Really proud of my battery. It's really just, it's really solid. Um, at this point, there's nothing that's gonna break it down, everything walking. Have a great night folks, thank you for watching. I built my first 12S 4P T1700 Tesla Samsung 40T batteries. The capacity on this is almost, 70, almost 700 watt hours with continuous discharge of 140 amps. But I want to only run it at half of that just to stay safe and to keep your battery keep lasting a lot longer. Thank you for watching and subscribe.